What is going on everyone? I had a request to do a tutorial on how to add custom audio to your transmitter. Me, I run the TBS Tango 2. So I'm going to do a real quick run through on how to make audio files to put onto the Tango 2, where to put them on the SD card of the Tango 2 and a couple of different methods of which you can create the audio file. Um, you can use anything from a YouTube clip through to speech to text. So we're going to jump onto the computer now. I'll run you through a real quick setup of the programs you'll need, how to make the file, put it onto the Tango 2, and then I'll come back to the camera and we will show you the audio file once it's actually on the transmitter. Okay guys, so the program you're going to need is Audacity. This is the one on the left here. Once you've downloaded that, open it up, set your project rate down in the bottom left here to 32,000 hertz. That's important for some reason for the Tango 2 anyway. That's what it requires. Um, you'll also need to make sure you've got your loop bat set in the correct position. Like, um, this is what records, so it needs to be set in the correct location, I guess you would call it. Um, there's plenty here for what's on my computer. It uses my com my headphones to do the loop back. So anyway, make sure that's set. And then once you've done that and you've got your audio f file ready, click record and then start playing the audio file. Hi, Principal Squigman. Thanks, Doofy. It's Special Officer Doofy today, Singe. Once you've recorded the sound file that you want to use, you then need to trim it. Uh, it's as simple as highlighting. Then you will play it again to ensure you've got the correct. It's Special Officer Doofy today, Singe. The Doofy today. It's Special Officer Doofy today. So you can also set your playback speed, for some reason that was set a little bit high. Just going to set it back to there. So once you have your audio file and you're happy with the clip you've got, make sure you highlight it. This is very important, it took me, too, it took me way too many goes to figure out why I wasn't getting my audio. It must be highlighted. You then need to export it as a WAV file and to make it as the welcome tech, like the welcome um, audio for your transmitter, you'll need to save it as hello. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Now that that's done, we then need to connect the transmitter to the computer. Okay, so the next part is connecting the controller to your PC. So make sure the controller is turned on. Plug it in. Sorry, a little bit hard one-handed. From there, you need to go down and set it as USB storage. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to read that, but it says USB storage, SD. Um, once that's set, it will pop up on the computer. Okay, so once you've got the transmitter connected to the computer and you've selected it as a USB device, you'll have two drives that pop up. One is the Tango 2 itself, the other is the USB drive. If you need to use the USB drive, don't mess with the Tango 2 part, that's where your firmware goes. Next you'll go to sounds, for me English, and then system. Once you're in system, you'll find the file, hello, and then we will go to the desktop, which has our new file, which is hello, and we will drag and drop that on, and we'll replace it. Once that's replaced, we can close all this stuff out and go back to the controller. Rightio guys, so now that we have drag and dropped the hello file onto the sounds section of the Tango 2, we are now ready to test it out. So guys, I hope this was a nice, quick and easy tutorial to follow to put custom audio onto your transmitter. You can do it with all sorts of audio files and you can set them to switches and all kinds of things. That's a little bit more in depth, but 
for something as simple as the audio file for the um, intro for when you turn your transmitter on that's a nice simple way of doing it and you can create any audio file you like that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of content and i'll see you in the next video